400 trucks are working overtime to clear the icy and snow-packed roads around the state. And they've been having a hard time keeping up in some spots. News 13's Kim Holland is live along I-25 in Valencia County. Jessica, we're here in Los Lunas where the rush hour is in full swing. Driving south on I-25 from the metro area, we saw plenty of icy patches, snow blowing across the interstate. We saw two vehicles rolled over and plenty of other cars off into the ditch. We also saw in the last hour two plow trucks. They're spread thin tonight trying to keep up with the weather. They also have wrecks on the interstate. This one on westbound I-40 near the river is a bad one. It's an all-day fight. <laughs> The Department of Transportation trucks are struggling to win. Put people where they need to be as fast as we can get them there. The cold temperatures and the precipitation that's involved, uh, it's pretty hard to have enough trucks out there. Since 4 yesterday afternoon, the Department of Transportation's district that covers Bernalillo, Sandoval, and parts of Torrance counties has had every piece of its severe weather equipment on the roads. 40 trucks are salting and sanding and clearing major roads, highways, and interstates. Those crews are spread thin and having a hard time keeping up with the storm that continues to pound the state. Plows are spread out all over New Mexico. The governor and her chief of staff are getting constant updates. They're, they're icing over quickly. Uh, it's just very, very cold. So they may have been down that road very recently, but then it gets iced over and that's what's the danger. And as another cold blast of winter hits the state again tonight, the DOT trucks will be working to stay on top of it. In the metro area, crews may be able to gain the upper hand. Tonight when traffic's a little lighter, we'll probably hit it really hard. There will be another wave of DOT employees that will be coming on at midnight to man the trucks in the metro area to try to get those roads cleared and cleaned up in time for the rush hour. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Kim. And stay with News 13 and KRQE.com for continuing statewide storm coverage, including up-to-the-minute road conditions, school closures, and delays.